What drives a person to commit a heinous crime against their own family? This question echoes in our minds as we delve into the tranquil world of the Greenough family. Nestled in the picturesque rural landscape of Western Australia, the Greenoughs led a life that seemed emblematic of the peaceful Australian countryside. A life filled with community barbecues, school sports days, and the simple joys of rural living. Among them was William Mitchell, a family member whose name would soon become synonymous with a chilling crime. The Greenoughs, a seemingly ordinary family, lived under the Australian sun, oblivious to the storm brewing within their own home. They were a part of a close-knit community, their lives intertwined with those around them, their laughter echoing in the quiet country air. Yet beneath this facade of tranquility, a sinister tale was about to unfold. An idyllic life, soon to be shattered by an unimaginable act of violence. On a fateful day in 1993, the peaceful aura of the countryside was forever tainted. The day started ordinarily, with the Greener family going about their routine, oblivious to the horror that would soon unfold. As the sun rose, their lives were tragically cut short, their home turned into a crime scene. The perpetrator was none other than William Mitchell, a member of their own family. This fact alone added an extra layer of shock and disbelief for those who knew them. Without any prior indication of violence, Mitchell transformed a serene day into a nightmare, his actions marking a dark chapter in Australian crime history. The timeline of events is haunting. The morning was normal, the afternoon devastating. An inexplicable transformation took place within Mitchell, turning him from family member to murderer in just a few hours. A day that started like any other, ended in a tragedy that would send shockwaves across the nation. As the nation reeled from the shock, the authorities began their pursuit for justice. The investigation that followed was painstaking and meticulous, piecing together the horrifying events of that day. William Mitchell, a member of the Greenough family, quickly emerged as the primary suspect. His arrest sent another shockwave through the community, a chilling reminder of the betrayal of trust. The trial that ensued was one of Australia's most notorious, with the prosecution painting a chilling picture of a man driven to commit an unthinkable act. The question on everyone's mind, of course, was why? To answer this, we turn to experts in the field of psychology. Psychologists suggest that such heinous acts are often the culmination of a complex interplay of factors. These may include untreated mental health issues, environmental pressures, or deep-seated resentment. Behind the face of a family member lurked a killer, leaving us grappling with the question, what could drive a person to such extremes? In the wake of the tragedy, a community was left to pick up the pieces. The Greenough family massacre reverberated far beyond the boundaries of the small rural town, sending shockwaves through the nation. The community, bound by grief, came together in solidarity, providing support to the surviving family members. The massacre's aftermath was a testament to the resilience of human spirit, even in the face of such unspeakable horror. The legal consequences for William Mitchell were swift and severe. His heinous actions not only robbed a family of their lives, but also shattered the tranquility of a community. The case served as a stark reminder of the need for vigilance and mental health awareness. In the wake of the massacre, steps were taken to prevent similar incidents. Education around mental health was prioritized and community support systems were strengthened. From the ashes of this tragedy, we learn the importance of vigilance, mental health awareness and community support. Remember, by learning from the past, we can work towards a safer future.